Indy Mogul. In the tradition of Walt Disney's most beloved classics <laughs> comes the story behind the most magical kiss the world has ever known. Walt Disney literally pioneered the animated movie and dominated the genre for over 50 years. But then Toy Story hit theaters and everything changed. Audiences became enamored with computer animation and 2D animation, an extremely expensive venture despite its humble origins, no longer seemed to make sense when it came to the bottom line. So Disney announced that Home on the Range was their final 2D animated feature and shut down their hand-drawn animated studio, instead choosing to focus solely on computer animation. But when Disney bought Pixar and installed John Lasseter as head of all animation, Lasseter realized that the studio that created the genre could not turn its back on it. He quickly lured back directors Ron Clements and John Musk the minds behind The Little Mermaid and Aladdin, to take the helm of what would be Disney's return to form. And this would not be just any 2D animated movie, but a princess movie that introduced a much-needed African-American character to Disney's hugely successful product line. The film focuses on a young waitress named Tiana who dreams of owning her own restaurant in 1920s New Orleans. On that note, this movie also celebrates the heyday of jazz with Randy Newman of Pixar fame doing the music. And that leads us to the biggest question of all. Can Disney make a hit animated musical without Howard Ashman? The lyricist was a major factor in Disney's animation renaissance, working not just on songs, but on developing the films from head to toe. Disney was able to pull off The Lion King without Ashman, but nothing has quite hit the mark since. Walt, Howard, does John have what it takes to follow in their footsteps? <laughs> What did you think of The Princess and the Frog? I liked it. It was actually funny and really silly. The best part of it is the middle. I really liked it. It was a little like um, spooky. I thought it was a little bit scary. Some of it was scary. Ooh, were you scared? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favorite character in the movie? Um, The Frog. Yeah? The guy frog or the girl frog? The oh, guy. Mama Odie was funny. The crocodile played the trumpet. Who was your favorite character? Tiana. 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 What did you think of Princess Tiana? Um, I thought she was pretty. She's nice. Yeah? And kind and hardworking. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Um, Sleep of Beauty. Cinderella. Ariel. Ariel. Cinderella. Cinderella. Princess Tiana. Pocahontas. No. No way! What did you learn from the movie? Were there any lessons that you learned? Not really. Don't mess with magic. Yeah? Voodoo magic. That princesses are very beautiful and they can um, be making mistakes. I learned that you always have to stay by people's sides and never walk away. What do you think of hand-drawn animation, the way this movie was done? Perfect. Oh, excellent. Would you tell your friends this was a good movie? Yeah. I liked it really much, so you might like it. It was really interesting and nice. I think I would want to see it again. Are you glad there's a new Disney princess? Yeah. yeah. So if your holiday wish is for a new Disney princess and the return of 2D animation, looks like it's been granted. And don't forget to vote in Beyond the Trailers poll for the top 10 movies of 2009. Go to this link and vote by December 13th. The results will be shared on a special episode of Movie Math. I'm Grace Randolph and you've just gone Beyond the Trailer.